Virgos, hello and welcome to your April 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for your sign in the month of April 2021. So um, let's see, Virgo, um, the energy for you is um, very transcending. I'm feeling that uh, this month really uh, is a coming of age for you. I'm feeling that uh, your energy is actually getting very clear, very obvious. It's uh, nothing is really oblivious anymore. Nothing is unclear. Nothing is a question mark, okay? So the Aries season moving to Taurus season in 2021, um, equinox time, uh, really blooming and blossoming within you, um, gets you really clear on your motivations and goals, um, which can be easy or hard depending. Um, if your personality type is one that uh, banks on uh, being out of control or uh, the gossip or conversations or dialogues that come about as a result of not knowing what to do with yourself. Um, this could be a very difficult month. Um, or if you're the type of person who really desires progress and uh, changes, um, th this will be a lovely, um, hopeful, and um, glorious month, okay? Um, so there's that bifurcation in the Virgo energy right now of like, what does your soul need? What are you really wanting to um, experience of life? Um, I'm feeling that for Virgos and Scorpios and Pisces, these three signs are having a little bit of a tough time this month with um, having gotten so accustomed to difficulty or having gotten so accustomed to abusive relationships or uh, conflicts with family members or whatever it is to the point where the resolution process and all of that is at times the most enjoyable part of the day. Um, the attempt to solve problems um, needing a problem-solving process to be a part of your day, uh, which in turn leads to problems being an inherent part of your experience. Um, this is a really important uh, change, uh, needing having, having to come in for Virgo in the month of April. Um, and I feel that many of you have already uh, come over that in a sense where you are uh, no longer in that and you already are enjoying just a lighter, easier, fresher, kinder life where you can enjoy your creative process and where you can get ahead and where you can have enough. Um, but I will say uh, it's uh, very clear to me that um, it's also easy to backtrack a little bit and it's easy to hold things up. It's easy for Virgo to um, stick themselves or hold themselves or find themselves stagnant or stuck in that old relationship, in that old way of being, in that old addiction, repeating over and over and over again because there's a fear of not having the repetition factor that that offers. Like it's preferable to have that repetition than it is to have a healthy life uh, without where, where, with which that repetition is not foreseeable, therefore it's worrisome. So I'm feeling uh, the main uh, shadow issue that Virgo has to work on in the month of April and May and June <laughs> is um, basically why has there been a fear of having a better life? Why has there been a fear of um, pulling together a reality that is enjoyable, even if it means that certain relationships aren't there, even if it means certain addictive cycles can't hold up? Um, the fear of being alone, the fear of not having a guarantee, the fear of not knowing what's coming in the next day um, could be something that needs to resolve right now and be replaced with uh, thankfulness to not be able to predict or thankfulness to not know. And for that to be a good thing, like how much better could things be than what I'm making it be, you know? Um, other intuitive messages I'm feeling before we get into the week to week is uh, needing to get a lot more concise. Okay, uh, King and Queen of Swords is here for you this month. I already feel it as I'm talking about your energy and it's very welcome. It's very nice to really see people for who they are, to not um, rely on intuition as much, to not have to rely on um, other people's insights. Like your own insight is very accurate. Um, Though with the devil coming up and the lovers, it feels to me, uh, and the magician is your three major arcana cards, 
that you're kind of banking on some emotional upheavals to fuel you forward or to create a motivation. Um, you're, you may have started associating motiv motivation with pain. Okay. Motivation with suffering. Um, because that does happen. Like sometimes the difficult things that we go through end up motivating us to do better in life. Um, Scorpio and Pisces are also right in this. And it's really important in April to see through that and to trust that your talents, talents, okay. Don't fall by the wayside. Um, to trust that you're talented enough of a person to not require these difficult relationships or these difficult, painful trials uh, to fuel you instead, okay? Um, there's something of a lapse in self-reliance or a lapse in self-trust that I'm feeling for many Virgos, and um, it's been kind of culminating for the last few years. Um, I don't know, for those of you who've been on this channel for the last few years, um, you might kind of remember that we've kind of been going through a very dark, shadowy thing, which really lightened up over about the last six months in Virgo readings. And it's not that this reading is backtracking, really, like it's possible for Virgo to backtrack, but this is not really the way that things were like two years ago this time. This is not evocative of that same lack of clarity or that same uh, shadow experience. It's more of a totally different sphere of uh, motivation as a result of uh, difficult present experiences. Um, not so much like it was before, but totally a new version of that. Um, and the universe is just kind of here with you in tandem. I feel it very strongly. You, you're going to feel presence this month. You're going to feel that uh, something big, higher than you or something um, very oriented with faith is walking with you and showing you a better way through. So. Uh, to conclude on intuitive messages for you this month, Virgo, a better way through is very important to see. And um, accepting that your talents are not just that one job or that one relationship or that homemaker capability or that ability to make that amount of money, that there's a broader sense of talent within you that can attract abundance uh, as well, okay? Um, that I'm getting chills actually. Um, and it's not just you that's going through that. This is actually kind of a, sorry, I've just bumped the microphone. This is kind of a uh, more collective thing. I talk with my hands, Virgo, and, and sometimes when these types of like really great messages come through, I'm like slinging my hands around and slamming them into the microphone. Um, I, I suppose it adds character to the recording. <laughs> um, but this is really what I live for, okay? It's like these types of realizations. It's these types of like chills that come through uh, when we kind of realize that, whoa, I've been making myself do this job or this relationship or this um, you know, system in my life. And, um, it's given me something. It's given me a new perspective. It's given me, it's proven who I am. It's proven how my energy manifests itself. Um, but when that's no longer really right anymore, um, I actually know that I have other talents and I actually know that there are, there, there's not just one way in life to create abundance and I have to trust that. Okay. That's kind of the dialogue I'm feeling for you guys. But let's talk about the week-to-week -week Virgos. Week number one, you've got the lovers rooted down by the devil. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a humor, actually, okay? And that's really good to embrace. It can be a little bit of a dark humor. It can be a little bit of a, um, yeah, just a dark humor that some of you guys are getting into there. Uh, but it feels important to laugh off some of these uh, chains, okay? Uh, laughter can sometimes be the only way to um, step out of a certain dimension of pain. Okay, um, finding humorous experiences, uh, people who are funny in your life, those are good people probably for you. Um, people who are too serious, people who are too regimented, people who are too, you know, sixth house Virgo energy, organized, uh, neutral, uh, a bit sterile type of cleanly energy, it's not really for you right now. You've already got that in the bag, you know? Um, and I think that you guys need a little bit more of a an eccentric, humorous, um, presence if you could uh, move toward that. Um, because the universe is going to give you a crossroads in the first week of April just to test you out a little bit. Like, are we going to pursue that sterile, um, OCD, strategic, detail-oriented, regimented person or path? Or are we going to choose a more eccentric, humorous, um, 
kind of optimistic and slightly chaotic, yes, but healing. It's healing. It's 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 really the path I'm feeling for you. Um, but it's really important that regardless of what whatever path you choose, it's very detached from any type of substance, addictive cycle, or any type of um, compensation. Okay, whether which whatever path it is, get out of this. Um, reliance okay Re dependencies okay big thing for virgo right now to overcome not not just that it's there not just that a dependency is here but that you are actually moving out of that dimension and if you try to force that to stay it feels like um it just feels like virgo wants way more than that now and uh it's not clear that is not clear when you're with like these people who are like alcoholics or these people who are um, you know, uh, addicted to uh, spirituality or whatever it is, um, it's really important to find variety in your life and a healthy turnover, okay? Many things happening at once, not hyper-focusing on things. Week two, you've got Page of Pentacles rooted down by the Ten of Cups. New relationships are possible for you. Um, for those of you who've been single, it's a good time for dating. It's also a good time for starting a new business or for starting a new project, marrying a project, marrying a business, marrying a side hustle. That type of thing is very uh, well for you right now. Um, and it does feel like you need something new. Page of Pentacles is about youthful new uh, projects that are material. Um, and Ten of Cups is the marriage card. It's the uh, union card. So um, even like... Um, business deals or negotiations feel very good for you. Uh, acquisitions or anything like that are uh, well seen during that time. We are also in all planets direct. So until April 28th, that is a good thing to consider. Week number three, you've got the four of cups rooted down by the king of swords. Okay. Um, so this is the period of time right when we hit Taurus season, which is a good time of year for you, uh, better than Aries season usually. Um, you need time alone, okay? If you're one of those Virgos who's in that relationship, who like has, you know, kids or a family or is like always being connected to other people, it's really important that you forge, you know, even if it's just an hour, even if it's just 30 minutes, um, it has to happen at some point in time for you to make decisions. I'm not just talking about like mental repetition here. I'm not just talking about, you know, going through the hoops, thinking things over, losing sleep over things. I'm talking like a real decisive solitary mental thing coming in for you in the third week. It's also in the fourth week as well. It feels like you're deciding in the third week. The third week is a decision. The fourth week, Queen of Swords with the Magician, is the execution of that decision. It's the uh, follow through. So some of you have a decision to make in the month of April, and by the fourth week, it needs to be implemented. Whether you're saying yes, whether you're saying no, whether you're acquiring, whether you're... Um, selling, whether you're, whatever side of the equation you're falling onto, it needs to be implemented by the fourth week. You have very nice, uh, constructive luck to, um, execute a change in the fourth week in your life. Um, so that's what I think the universe is really, um, creating and planting in the life of a Virgo. Okay. Um, Taurus season, especially for a Virgo is a time of planting, Again, this is springtime um, or fall time if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's a great time for uh, planting and harvesting and uh, seeing a bloom, seeing things come up, um, seeing a result for some of the effort that you've put in or preparing uh, new results for the next season. So I'm feeling it's more on that latter uh, thing coming through there where I think a lot of Virgos are preparing um, for that new result to come next season. So next fall or next spring, depending on what hemisphere you're in, um, what what is coming? And are you adapted to make that as an abundant a process as possible? You have a lot of wiggle room. You have a, It seems like you have people just waiting to help you out, people just waiting to invest in you, people just waiting to um, offer you that friendly space or um, teach you how to cook or teach you how to do something. There, there's a lot of, a um, lot, a lot of soul tribe just waiting to help out a Virgo, um, definitely, and everybody to a degree. That's not even just a Virgo thing. But um, it's really explicit for you because um, Virgo struggles a little bit more with the Aquarian energy. So it, re it really has to be spelled out. And um, you have to really spell it out for yourself. That That's the thing about this period of time for Virgo. This entire year 
for Virgo is it really has to be spelled out. You have to decide and you have to implement. Things are not like really done by magic or done naturally in a hands-off way for you. Again, Virgo is quincunx to Aquarius, um, so it's important not to expect for things to just naturally resolve themselves. Um, there's nothing wrong with thinking that way um, ever uh, to allow the universe to resolve things, um, but that will basically keep things the same uh, for this year for Virgo. So if you're needing a change, if you're needing some type of shift, it really has to be uh, consciously and directly done by you, okay? Um, so anyway, Virgos, uh, that's going to sum up your general reading. I'm going to do an extended for you on Patreon. We'll look more into um, these decision-making processes, more into the type of... Um, things to uh, pursue in your life that will kind of uh, make things feel easier and more connected. Um, and you can click on the center of your screen now uh, in the center of the video to uh, jump over to Patreon for the extended, or it will be linked below in the description. I do all the readings early and ad-free over there, as well as extended readings, and uh, I do weekly forecasts as well, all for the one subscription. So uh, definitely come and check it out if you've wanted to support the channel and get way more bonus content. Um, let's jump over for that reading now. Much love, Virgos. Bye.